This is such a beautiful morning to be walking on the beach out here. Nobody around. Look at this. Nobody around but me walking on the beach. It's just beautiful out here. I do like getting up early when the sun's nice like this and not windy and not cold to walk on the beach. Just listen to the ocean. How can you not like this? Not, a, not 102 degrees either. Right now I think it's around, I don't know, maybe 70 right now. Not that bad. But anyway. Later in the evening, we went to the fireworks display in Newport, just underneath the uh, bridge in the marina area. Listen to the, the echo that comes from the fireworks. I'm all right. This one, like this one, like this one. <laughs> these are just people standing on the bridge, firing off these fireworks. Their own fireworks off the bridge. love the echo off the uh, walls in that little marina area it made for a very nice fireworks it was it, it was different it was pretty cool i really like that little marina area down there then we went on to depot bay the world's smallest harbor and it was They say during bad weather this channel is really treacherous to go in and out of. I can see that. Well, here, uh, Linda and her mom went in and out of these little shops right there that you see right here. I decided to just take a walk around town and caught up a couple. This is a well watching uh, area. They have a place up there where you can see whales and seals and stuff. And I did look into that it's a telescope right there. See the seals on the rock. So we did a lot of sightseeing, kind of like what you're seeing here. It's about all we did all day hit about every beach there was over there in that area it was pretty cool i really just enjoyed walking around and sightseeing
Can't get much of that in California anymore, like this. We did see a few whales out there. I don't think I got any on film because this camera doesn't pick out, pick up that far away. But we saw about five whales that day we were hunting around there. I'm going go to go look at it then to come back to walk down there because you'll be able to go down there. You should be able to go straight down there. And you should be able to go down there and go through it. Yep. And, and that around. lighthouse out there. Yeah. They have. My uncles just did the DNA. And back no matter what beach you go oh, to gotcha. in the Oregon I coast, you're going to get a beautiful view. I mean, they're all there. spectacular I views. I, I, I could film that all day long and never get tired of it. It's just the sound of the waves. The, it was just. Look at that. It's just beautiful out there. Oregon coast is just really a beautiful place to visit. This area right here is called the Devil's Punch Bowl. Uh, it was pretty amazing. Uh, we got there kind of low tide, so it really wasn't much going on inside the, the, the hole there. But, it was still good to see. I would like to hike down there inside of it. That would have been a really cool thing to do. But they say that whenever the water is high tide and it's rushing through there, it blows out the top. It was really cool looking. Very interesting. Here are some cool pictures of the water coming in I found on the internet. I thought I'd share them with you. It would have been really cool to hike down into that, but, but I don't think we're allowed to. So I didn't see no trails anyway, it was all fenced off. But anyway, it was beautiful. The next few days we went south more and explored and sightseeing around and uh, took quite a few videos there. Saw some more wells also. So anyway, that'll be next. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.